Hey, everybody, how's it going? I need to take that off. Cool. Uh, so today we are going to uh, take our next steps in uh, updating this template. So last time we updated all of this, and today we are going to update all of this. So all of our vocal stuff, uh, we are going to um, just completely change and, and make better and new and all that stuff. So if we look over here, we can see that I've got a tape machine saturation thingamabobber, and then I've got multiband compressor, uh, and then over here I've got my reverbs and delays, which I'll go through in a second, and then I've got my background vocal channel, which is tape machine, and then a limiter, and then compression, and the limiter's just like catching peaks. Uh, compression, and then equalizer, you know, just doing some basic stuff, uh, and then a de -esser. And then uh, these channels are all the same. And so I've got tape machine and compressor and uh, frequency doing some stuff on here. Just some basic general EQ. Uh, a squash or EQ, which, oh, this is like, um, this is like Waves MV2 thing where it like compresses everything down, but then also compresses everything up. Um, and then more equalizer. Just, you know, more top end, less, less of the honk, and then a de -esser, and then a limiter. So I have a feeling that this is going to be our a big change. Not like a huge, huge change, but I feel like whereas whenever we changed out everything on the submix, it didn't change hugely, drastically, bigly. Like it was just like, it was it was noticeable, but it wasn't like ooh night and day worlds of difference. Maybe I should uh, definitely spend three thousand dollars on gear to make my stuff sound that much better. It was like a you know a, a ten percent change. <clears throat> this I think we're gonna start hearing even a bigger change just from what I what I imagine, and I have a feeling it's mostly gonna come from some of my reverbs and delays. I could be wrong. I could like it just could not matter at all. Uh, but that's what we're going to do today. And that's what we're going to check out and see uh, what we can do. So first thing I want to do is come over to my EQs and go bypass all of them. So if you alt click right over here, it just completely gets rid of this plugin chain. And I'm going to do the same thing for my all Vox bus. Probably should have like paid attention to actually what my levels were like. I can always come back and listen to my um, print track from last week or last time whenever I did this. So let's take a listen to my uh, lead vocals. The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, grazing all types of hell. So it's not bad, sounds good. Uh, let's see what we can do. So um, first thing I wanna use is my EQ, my AMEC 990. And it's gonna have some saturation. Uh, I might use a little bit of compression in it. Uh, I'll probably save the compression for a little bit later, but I want to make it sparkle and, and shape the tone a little bit so it's <clears throat> brighter. So take you off, take you off. Uh, I don't need my gate either. Eh. Do I need my gate? I don't need my gate. Here we go. The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, raising all types of hell. Whiskey and night, ten shot smoking lights. Never liked the taste, but damn it, always got his right. The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, raising all types of hell. Whiskey and night. Ten shots, smoking lights. Never liked the taste, but damn it, always got his right. 
The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, raising all types of hell. Whiskey at night, ten shots smoking lights. Never liked the taste, but damn it, always got his right. The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, raising all types of hell. Whiskey at night, ten shots smoking lights. Never liked the taste, but damn it, always got his right. Okay, so I feel like that's better. It's more clear. Uh, yeah, all that stuff. Uh, so now let's start compressing. Um, what am I going to use? I'll tell you one thing I'm not going to use. Normally I use uh, the Waves CLA-76 and put it on Bluey mode. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know if you've been paying attention to anything that's going on with Waves. Uh, this weekend they announced that they were moving over to a subscription, mo subscription model and completely fucking everybody who has paid thousands of dollars for plugins over the years. Um, so I'm going to stop using my Waves plugins wherever I can uh, in favor of other versions of the same thing. So I do have this Purple Audio MC77, and I've also got this, oh, that might use that compressor. And I've got that Black 76. Um, let's try the compressor. So this is a, a distressor emulation, uh, four to one, sounds good. Uh, I think that's fast, and I think that's fast. Let's see what they got going on there. The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, raising all types of hell. Whiskey at night, ten shots smoking lights. Never liked the taste, but damn it, always got his right. The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, raising all types of hell. Cool. That sounds pretty good to me. Nice and contained. It's not too squishy, even though it's like it's squished. Like we saw it. It's squished, but it's fine. I think it's going to be fine. Um, so we got dynamics. Let's get some more saturation in there. And oh, used to love using you. Not anymore. Eat shit. Uh, Magneto quadrifuzz. I need to I need to get some more uh, fun um, distortion boxes in here, don't I? Um, I had something. I had something that's kind of cool. Where is it? Sound toys. There we go. Uh, Devil Lock, maybe a little bit too much. Little Radiator, maybe more my jam. The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, raising all types of hell. Whiskey at night, ten shots smoking light. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see how this is going. And I'm gonna turn up my all vox bus so that this is louder. The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell.
you know what I should have done? You know what I should have done? Okay, we're gonna move all of this stuff down. Uh, another plugin, I usually like to tune as well um, on my plugins. Um, Nectar 3. Again, I used to use Waves Real Time Audio. Eat shit. Waves. I'm very angry. And they need to know that. So whenever they see me and they see all this, they'll see that I'm angry. Um, and I hope that it really rustles their jimmies. Um, I don't know what this is, but let's go ahead. Smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Yeah, I don't I don't know how to work. This is my first time opening up this plugin. Okay, we'll we'll keep using that uh, just just cause. Um, I might I might just dial down the strength a little bit just so it's not so <clears throat> tuned. But that's my auto tune plugin for the time being because I don't actually have auto tune and I'm not using the waves bullshit anymore. Okay, so I got tuning a little bit, got some EQ, got some compression, got some saturation. Um, let's see what we have in the world of DSing. You know what? For DSing, uh, I am just going to wind up using my frequency. Because uh, I'm going to do a little bit more shaping and then I'm going to use one of these uh, modes in dynamic uh, uh, EQing uh, to be my DSer. Or, you know what? Maybe I should just throw Soothe on. It's fucking smart, man. Smart thinking. Smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell might not be doing the trick for me I'm gonna bypass you just for the sake of argument it's okay it's okay it's okay let's see you know what let's see if this little pitch correct can work. I'll just do it chromatic. It might be D major. 
uh, according to what that pitch correct thing was. Tolerance. Smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, raising all types of hell. Whiskey and night, ten shots, smoke and lies. Never like the taste, but damn it, always got his right. Uh, that might actually work uh, for what we need. It's not great, but it's something. I think that's... Eh, whatever. Okay, uh, so we got a little bit of frequency on there. I'm going to pull this up to get rid of a little bit more low end. And I, do we need a little bit more top end, too? The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. <laughs> okay, uh, I need I need to regain stage something here. And right, this guy, you can come down here a little bit. Okay, um, and let's see. I think the last thing I want to do <coughs> is uh, throw a limiter on there. <sighs> I don't want to use L2. This is bullshit. L2 is bullshit. Um, that's what I'm going to have to do, though, because I don't have another really good limiter that I like for this sort of thing. Hate it. Hate myself for this. God is right. That might be a little bit too murky in the in that range right there. Don't know they got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, raising all types of hell. Whiskey. Cool, great. Uh, we're moving on one waves plugin, and it's already eaten up so much CPU. I think it's, I think it's this compressor right there that's doing it for me, uh, doing the uh, CPU hit. I could use a different compressor, but I'm not going to because this I like this one. I think it sounds good. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is copy. This plugin chain over there. There we go. And my mouse is just straight up pissing me off. Um, it is, you know what? I'll do over there. The, uh, the, the left mouse button is starting to go on me. So it's just ruining everything, making it all suck. There we go. Drag and drop, drag and drop, drag and drop. There we go. So now all of my vocals 
should have the same plugin chain on it. And let me just make you all magic and uh, put you up at the very top. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, cool. Um, I'll listen to you, these guys, in a second. What I do want to listen to now is my reverbs. Come on. There we go. Um, so this one is going to be Valhalla Room. I think I'm going to use that one for my reverb small, and I'll put you right about like that and there. Medium Room. And Depth. So read the manual on all these things. Basically what this is doing is making it uh, more, it's, it's, it's changing the shape uh, and the way that the, uh, the reflections uh, disperse on these. Um, so like this, it's going to be more, um, I can't think of the word, um, but it's going to be less muted when I go this way. So it's going to, it's going to sound more like um, uh, distinct, in the reflections. Uh, but I think that's about what I want to do for my small verb and my big verb. I will use my seventh heaven. I'm about to rip this fucking mouse off of my computer and just kill it. Uh, I'm going to use my sunset chamber for my big room on my seventh heaven verb. And I'm going to leave all of these frequencies on there because that's what I do all the time anyway. I'm just cutting out the low end, cutting out some high end, uh, so that the vocal reverbs sit in the mid range with the vocals and fill in the space. And then for my plate, I'm going to use my Arturia uh, 140 plate. I could use the the um, little plate um, from the Sound Toys but I'm not going to and turn that wetness all the way up. And then my slap delay, I might leave this. No, no, I can't do that. I'm making this a better version of the reverb or a better version of this thing. And I'm actually going to keep, keep some of the high end in that one. Uh, delays, delays, delays. I want a slap delay. Do I want to use my multi-tap delay? No. Do I want to use my tape echo? I don't actually know what this is, but I'm kind of scared. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use my um, E3000 thing from um, Mick DSP, and I'm going to slow it down. Somewhere around there. Turn that all the way up. Turn my feedback down a little bit. Turn my saturation up. That should be pretty cool. I hope it's cool. If it's not going to be cool, then I don't know. Spread that a little bit. High pass, low pass. I'm already high passing and low passing a little bit. Oh, and I can ping pong it. I can ping pong. No, no. I just want, I just want a mono slap. I want a mono slap. My quarter delay. I definitely want a ping pong. And um, that's a free delay. Get this one. Like everybody should have Valhalla Supermassive. It's amazing, and you should get it immediately. Um, I don't know if I want to use that one here though. Uh, dynamic delay, H delay. All right, I'm gonna use Supermassive. 100% um, mix. Uh, note. Quarter delay, feedback somewhere around there. Width, does it? Ah, it doesn't have the ping pong. It doesn't have a ping pong, does it? 
you know what? I'm going to go with Sound Toys. Echo Boy Jr. And that'll have my ping pong delay. Come on, quarter note. All the way wet. And ping pong. And how am I going to flex space memory? Studio, studio tape it is. A little bit of saturation. Cool. So now let's turn on this with this. The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, raising all types of hell. Oh, the last thing that I was going to, uh, that I did, that I normally don't do is this doubler track. Um, this one is just the cloner um, built into Cubase. You can use Waves Doubler, which not anymore, um, or you can use uh, from Sound Toys the little micro shift or the big micro shift, whichever one you want to use. So. I mean, I'm just going to unbypass that one. So we'll, you can switch between them. The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, raising all types of hell. All right, so I'm going to use a little micro shift. Cloner, you can stay there. You're still, I still like the, the cloner. It's still a really good plugin. Um, would not be sad about using it instead. Uh, so here's my quarter delay. The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Cool. And my slap delay. The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Just a little extra space on there. Uh, here's my plate. The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Probably a little bit too much. Here's my big verb. The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. I'm not using it a whole lot if we check out my send levels, uh, just because it sometimes is too big. Sometimes it's just way too big. Um, so I, you know, I dial it in very, 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 very small amounts, but I like the depth that it gives. So I, it just a little bit. And again, you don't have to use all of these at the same time. Like I'm not, I might not use all of these at the same time. They're just available in and levels that I want. So if a mix doesn't want or doesn't call for any one of these things in particular, I can just mute it and it's fine. And then let's see uh, my small verb. The smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, raising all types of hell. Whiskey at night, ten shot smoking lights. Never liked the taste, but damn it, always got his right. So, completely changed uh, this vocal line right here. Um, let's see how it fits in with the track. Cool, so it fills it out nicely. Um, I could probably have a little bit more fun with it if I wanted to, uh, maybe EQing it, maybe not take out so much of this top end. Nope, that's not the one. Maybe that one right there. Okay, so yeah.
Um, let's get my back back yeah, background vocals in there. So I want to take these and I want to bypass them because I want to get rid of all those. So um, these already have my vocal chain on them. I'm going to break this fucking thing off. Stupid mouse. Um, and I want to just get a little bit of extra squish in there. So I'm going to use that one. Maybe I want. To, I need. I need something. I need something. I might. I think it's going to be the MJUC, but maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'll use that one. Maybe I'll use my Purple Audio Seventy Seven. MC77. This is my other 1176 style compressor. On a fast, I'll keep it on a fast attack. I want to use a higher ratio because these are background vocals, so I want them to be squashed. And the, the cool thing about this compressor, it is, it's a bright sounding compressor, so it all of the background vocals are naturally going to like perk up a little bit. Smoker and the stoner, now they ain't got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, raising all types of hell. Whiskey at night, ten shots smoking lights. Never liked the taste. So I never listened to these vocals <laughs> uh, in solo before, and they are just tuned as fuck. That's okay. That's. Let's give that maybe a little. Ah, we don't need to give those more width there because I didn't even pan them hard. Um, let's pan them a little bit harder, maybe. Just a hair. Just a hair. Smoker and the stoner, now they ain't got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, raising all types of hell. Whiskey at night, ten shots smoking lies, never like the taste, but damn it always got his right. So smoker and the stunner, now they got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, raising all types of hell. Whiskey at night, ten shots smoking lies. Never like the taste, but damn it, always got his right. Smoker and a stoner, now they got a story to tell. Riding round drunk, raising all types of hell. Cool. Um, so that's where we are, and let's get my last bit of stuff, and I'm going to use my Lindell 80 bus, and maybe I'll use my 50 bus. No, 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 that's not what I wanted. Um, Lindell 80 channel. No, oh, that's too much, that's too much. We're gonna get this one, um, and actually, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bring my bus over here. Um, so this is a little bit of that extra uh, harmonic saturation distortion goodness.
So it's one of those plugins that um, makes things way much better. Okay, uh, now we're gonna compress a little bit all together so that everything has a little bit of extra pizzazz and gel and cohesion. Okay, and then lastly, I need a little bit more EQ, just cause something's making noise. It's just all these channels aren't, isn't it? It's all the distortion from, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna do a quick gate. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do a gate on these. And it doesn't need to be loud. It's just shit building up over here uh, for whatever reason. Okay, uh, last thing we need to do that I can think of is give a little bit of EQ just to um, give it a little bit more top end sparkle. So nope, 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 nope. Mag. I think I, I think I like this one. This is a pretty good EQ. And we're, all we're gonna do is hit this air band, I think. I think that's all we're gonna really need to do. It helps to sing along. If you, if you can't sing along to it, then it sucks. So once you get to the point in the mix where you can sing along to it, that means you're feeling it, that means it's good, that means whenever you send it off to the band or you send it off to the producer, whoever, uh, they're gonna sing along to it and they're gonna feel good and they're gonna rock uh, and they're gonna think you rock. Okay, cool, I'm glad we had this chat. <clears throat> um, so let's do a quick uh, A, B with the original track and I want to make sure that my levels are sitting pretty good. Some de it still does need some DSing. Um, our, no, 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 no. DSer. So. Smoker and the stoner, now they got a story to tell. Okay. Close enough. One of these days I'll buy a new DSer, one that's not from Waves. Let's see how that fits.
I am feeling that. Uh, so I'm going to do another quick uh, print down while you're not watching and I go to uh, the far away place uh, whenever I pause the video. So uh, yeah, I'll be right back with the full printed down version. Okay, uh, and we're back. I accidentally recorded this because I'm an idiot. Um, anyways, so let's listen to a quick A B of this section. Well, from I'll just I'll just start flipping back and forth between all my different versions. So we've got my vocal uh, version that we've done today. We've got the master bus thing that we did last week. We got the stock mix that we did shit just before that, which you can still download the stock mix template and have that. Um, but yeah, let's listen. 949, we were scared out of our mind, but we never lost sight. I remember driving away, going and hair in my face. You were riding a shotgun on the way back to my place. Cool. Um, I think we're making it better. It's incrementally better. Like it's not huge game changing stuff better, but it's that extra little 5% better, 10% better. Um, yeah, I'm liking how this is going. Um, and I, I hope you are too. <clears throat> Sorry for ranting against some shithead plugin manufacturer and cussing a little bit more often. Uh, than I do in my videos, um, but yeah, yeah. I wish I could have spent more. Like, probably I probably should have spent a little bit more time dialing and reverbs and stuff like that. But I, I feel like those are pretty good at least for this. Uh, and from song to song, you can tweak and tweak and tweak. Um, the other caveat I I kind of want to mention is that <clears throat> I'm actively trying to beat this thing. So I'm listening and I'm using all of these new plugins to try to try to actively beat it. Uh, I could probably, or I probably could have dialed in those stock plugins uh, a little bit better, spent a little bit more time with it, just working and working and working, um, rather than, you know, uh, spending lots of money and time with these uh, third party plugins. But <clears throat> I like where the third party plugin stuff is heading. Uh, and I feel like they get me where I want to go a little bit faster than the, the, the stock stuff. If that makes sense. And I'm sure if I had some analog gear, uh, that would make it uh, even faster to get even better results. Probably. I don't have any analog gear, so I don't have anything way to test that out. But, you know, uh, that's where we're at now. So, um, next time we come back and I do one of these videos, I'm going to work on guitars and maybe I'll throw a bass in right there, and then I'll work on drums, and those will probably be much longer videos because there's more tracks to work with than that. Whatever. Um, and at, at the end of this, at the end of all of this, uh, I'm gonna upload all of these print tracks so you can download them and you can uh, hear them for yourselves uh, and uh, and judge for yourselves. So, cool. We'll see you uh, 
next time whenever I feel like it. So take care. Have a good one. Happy whatever the fuck this is.